Today in our 2018 Honda CRV, we're going to be test fitting the Rhino Rack Vortex Aero Roof Rack System. This is going to consist of part number RRVA137B 2. These are the Vortex Aero crossbars that you see here. These also come in silver as part number RRVA137S 2. We'll also be installing part number RRRLKVA. These are the Vortex or 2500 series legs for the Vortex Aero crossbars, excuse me, for naked roofs. And finally, part number DK284, and this is the fit kit specifically for the Honda CRV. We already have our front bar installed, and the Vortex Aero roof rack system is great for carrying a wide variety of accessories on your roof while freeing up space inside your CRV. This can carry anything from bike racks to cargo baskets to cargo boxes, and it has plenty of space to install multiples of certain accessories too. They have an elliptical shape to them, and that, coupled with the Vortex Aero strip at the top, is going to help cut down the wind noise and drag while you drive. And we also have these end caps here, that those plastic locks can be removed and changed to regular locks to secure it to your vehicle. We also can see that you can utilize T-Track accessories with this as well. You would remove the Vortex Aero strip, insert your accessory, and then cut the strip to length around it and then you'd be good to go. Another thing to note is if you were to purchase the lock for the end here, you could also secure your T-Track accessories in place as well. The end caps do come with locks already installed, so it's going to be secured to your roof once it's installed. And it simply just clamps around your existing door frame, and that's how it sits in place. We have the front bar installed, and we have our rear bar partially assembled on our table over here. So let's go ahead and show you how the rest of it goes together, and then place it on the rear. On this table, you have everything that comes with the kit once you get it. We have the bar itself, 2500 series legs, the fit kit, and the strip and tightening tools and locks necessary to install everything. We'll start first by taking our, our leg here, excuse me, and placing that on the other end. To make things a little bit easier, we'll flip our bar upside down, and we'll come to this side. This bracket here at the top is going to slide in to our channel at the bottom here, like so. And looking at the instructions, they'll give you the measurement of how far to come back here. Now normally, you would utilize the strip that comes in with it, cut that to length, and then tighten everything down that way. But for demonstration purposes, we'll just go ahead and use our flat tape here, make it a little bit easier on us. take our included tool and we'll tighten down the screw in the center here. That's good. Next, we'll take our fit kit and start installing it. Making sure that the arrow and the number corresponds properly with which foot you'll be installing. Like so. And then finally, we'll take our clamp here, and to install that, you first must remove the bolts in the center here all the way. And we install it loosely right now. There we go. And then finally, we'll take our end cap, put that in place, take our included key here, and lock it down. Now we can open up our rear doors and start installing our bar into position. Make sure our car is unlocked. When we set this in place, we want to be as gentle as possible because we don't want to scratch up the roof. I hope not, anyway. And 
then we'll get that straightened out on both sides. Our next step is we're going to measure from center to center on the bars and get the crossbar spread even on both sides as well. And again, you'll find this in your instructions, the proper measurement that is. With that done, then we can take our tightening tool and we'll first push it up against our door frame here and just tighten it down to where it's snug up against that. And once you do that, we'll give it about five or six turns on each side until it's completely tightened down. And one of the neat things about this tool, you see that it has a curved end here. As you tighten it down, that'll straighten out. And once it's straightened out, you know it's torqued or tightened to its proper specification. Kind of a neat way so you don't over tighten or overdo it. Like that. Our final step take our end caps here lock those in and then we're ready to load up our gear and hit the road one thing I'd like to give you real quick before we're finished is I'd like to give you a couple measurements Focusing on the front bars, from the center, or from the center of the roof to the bottom of the bar, it's going to be about three and a quarter inches, and from the center to the top, it's going to be about four and a half inches. So that's more than enough space for your accessories that wrap around the bars, where it won't come in contact with the roof or damage it. Also, that's plenty of space for you to still utilize your sunroof here. Both bars have a combined carrying capacity of 165 pounds, but you always want to double check with your vehicle's manual before you use those weights and go by the smaller of the two measurements. And there you have it for the Rhinorack Vortex Aero Roof Rack System on our 2018 Honda CRV.